guys. All right, so we are going to start kind of a two-part little project. We started researching or just started kind of skimming the surface last week with looking at some different colleges and universities that you probably had never considered. Hopefully you got a list of some that you found a few that interested you. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to that list that you submitted me. That was last Wednesday. And you're going to look at that list and you're going to choose three off of that list. Now, things that you want to um, keep in keep in your mind or that you want to consider if they're out of state universities, like a bunch of you are really interested in going to OSU or Grambling or wherever. That's fine. But just remember, out of state universities require out of state tuition unless you have a relative that lives there that's a parent, sometimes a grandparent that is a resident. So if out of state tuition is not something that would bother you, then you can certainly choose one of those universities. Also, please remember that a private university is going to cost more money. They will offer more in scholarships, but it's going to be a substantial bit more that it's going to cost. So universities like Baylor, private university, TCU, SMU, those are private. So you might want to do a little bit of research. If it's somewhere like um, Texas A&M, Texas State, Angelo State, um, Midwestern, those are all public universities and they offer an education at a cheaper price tag, which generally is something you want to consider. But like I said, those, those decisions are up to you. So you're going to pick your top three. And then for each of those three that you pick, you're going to make a T chart. I don't care how you do this. Don't ask me a million times. Can I do this? Can I, I don't care. It's up to you. So you make your T chart. Um, you can use a doc. You can use a Google slide. I don't care how you want to do that, but you're going to make a T chart for each one of those top three universities. So you'll have three separate T charts at the top. Please put the name of the university. That's going to be really, really important. Um, let me see if I can highlight this. Name of the institution. Institution is just a big word for uh, university. So at the top, put the name of the university. So if you are doing Tarleton, then at the top of your T-chart, I want you to put Tarleton. Okay. And you're going to provide me, you're going to have to do some research. You're going to provide me five pros and five cons. So five things that are interesting to you and five things about the school that you're like, mm, I don't know about that. So you're going to actually have to go in and do some research on that. So you'll have three T-charts with five pros, five cons. And then when you're done, I want you to look those T-charts over, look at your pros and cons, and I want you to decide out of those three, which one of those three interests you the most. And I realize, like, if your dream school is Baylor and it wasn't on there, I mean, you don't have to change your dream school to this one, but I want you just to focus on this one for this week, just so you can learn some things about some different places that you may not have ever considered. So I don't care if you do a doc, I don't care if you do slides, but don't share them with me. Make sure that you turn them in as an actual submission so that you will get credit that way. Sometimes when you just try to share them with me, they get lost in the thousands of emails that I get every day. If you have a question, holler at me. Adios. Is it time to go? I'm not even paying.